Let us look at, look at fact 5 now. In US, over the last century, real rate of return on capital has remained same. It has showed no trend. Na, bada hai return, na ghata hai return, return has remained same. The share of income devoted to capital and labor has shown no trend. Matlab, jitna GDP ka share labor ko tha aur jitna capital ko tha, it has remained the same. Average growth rate of output per person has been positive and relatively constant over time. So growth rate of output bada to hai, but it has been almost constant. It has been growing at the same rate. Let's look at the reason for trend number one. So Calder, he noted that the real rate of return was roughly constant. How did they note down? They saw that the return on capital, which is our small r, it is very closely related to the real interest rate that the government gives. If you invest in a government bond or if you take government debt, then the government real interest rate is very closely related is the real return on capital. And this has remained constant over time. In US, the real interest rate on government debt, it has shown no trend at all. It has remained constant over time. Therefore, we can go ahead and say that this also has remained constant. However, what... So, you will feel, ma'am, no. We always keep seeing that the interest rate fluctuates. So, the interest rate that we see, jo interest rate hum fluctuate hota wo dekhte hain, that interest rate is not real interest rate. That interest rate is nominal interest rate and nominal interest rate is real interest rate plus inflation. So, interest rate, nominal interest rate fluctuates due to inflation in the economy. But hum ye nahi dekhte. Hum real interest rate ka baat kar rahe that that has remained more or less constant. Now look at the second part. Second part is saying with the concerns to factor of production. So let's say that there are two factors of production, labor and capital. Okay. Now let us go ahead and let us try to see the share of labor in US. And it has been seen that the share of labor in US has remained constant at 0.7. Hamesa hamesha se hi 0.7 share of labor raha hai. Now, the author says that let's assume that there is no economic profit. So, profit kya hota hai? Total revenue minus total cost. No economic profit means zero economic profit. So, total revenue is equal to total cost. So, TR is nothing but price into quantity and TC is nothing but cost WL plus RK. Price into quantity ko humne GDP ya output likh liya hai. So Y is equal to WL plus RK. And we have divided throughout by Y. Hai na? So humne yaha pe aajega 1 WL by Y plus RK by Y. So now, ye humne given hai that this is 0.7. The share of labor in output is constant at 0.7. So, if I just plug in the value, I will get 1 is equal to 0 0.7 plus RK by Y. So, this will give me RK by Y will be 0 0.3. It shows that the share of uh, rent to output has also remained constant. The third trend says that the third kya tha? that the average per capita income has increased at a constant rate. So, if we try to plot per capita GDP with the year, we will see that there are some fluctuations up and down, up and down. And these fluctuations represent the fluctuations due to business cycle. Right? So in any short period, if I just try to zoom this, the output can be up or down reflecting a business cycle. And a recession, depression, boom, recession, boom, recession, boom, recession. And a, but if I try to pass a line through it, I see an upward trend. Trend hota hai long run phenomena. So I see an upward trend, which means that the per capita GDP has increased over time. The per capita GDP has increased over time. But what we go ahead and what we see, although ye per capita GDP bada to hai, but it has been increasing at a constant rate. So that is the third thing that was seen. So these are the three stylized facts about US and it can be uh, it can be extended to many developed countries also. Okay.